In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the Good News. Christ is in our midst. The scripture reading today from today's Gospel is from St. Luke chapter 4, verses 16 to 22. So he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, and as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up to read. And he was handed the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it is written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovery of the sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Then he closed the book, and gave it back to the attendant, and sat down. And the eyes of all who were in the synagogue were fixed on him. And he began to say to them, Today this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. So all bore witness to him, and marveled at his gracious words, which proceeded out of his mouth. And they said, Is this not Joseph's son? Is this not Joseph's son? To this reading we have a little bit of a subheading that says, Unbelief at Nazareth. Here is a local that's so how they look at it, getting up in the synagogue and reading from Isaiah. And then to end it all off, Jesus says, Today this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. They all looked around at each other and said, Isn't this Joseph's son? How could this be? Their unbelief that how possibly could this son of Joseph be what the prophet Isaiah was saying? To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, the good news to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed, and to proclaim the accessible year of the Lord. And these words were fulfilled in Jesus Christ. But they could not. Hearing these words from the son of the local carpenter, Joseph, how could this possibly be? The unbelief there. This unbelief is still with us now, even to this very day in 2021. Yes, the unbelief is still there, out there, in the community. The people will live with every day the unbelief that is there. You only have to look around at your circumstances around you. 
the unbelief of so many people. You just need to look at maybe just the news bulletins to see the unbelief, the lack of faith, or any other media that you frequent. You will see the unbelief there. Keeping in mind as Christians, we too, like Isaiah said about the Lord, you who believe, you who are disciples of Jesus Christ, the Spirit of the Lord is upon you too. He has anointed us to preach the good news to the poor, to heal those who are broken hearted through the word of God, to proclaim liberty to those who are oppressed by the world. They are free. Christ died for us once to set us free from the power of Satan and his angels. And it is the acceptable year of the Lord. Remember that. He died for us only once to set us free. We must follow Jesus, follow his teachings that teachings that set us free from Satan, from the world. So many turn back to the world. When the times get tough, as they say, the tough get going. It's too much. We'll go back to our old ways. It's much better that way than following the Lord and being a true Christian. Think about it for a moment. How often have you been tempted to do this? To turn away from your faith and follow the world so much more simpler and easier to do just to be like everybody else in the world. Being led by Satan and his angels falling into this trap. Oh, my dear people, stop for a moment. Think about it. Pray to the Holy Spirit who will set you free from this bondage of Satan and his angels, from this world, Satan's world. Jesus Christ died once to save us, to release us from this bondage. Don't turn back to it. Repent and follow Jesus Christ. Turn around and follow him. Get to know Jesus through the scriptures. Get to know his word through reading the scriptures. And more importantly, Practice his teachings. Yes. Glory to God for all things. And may the blessing of Almighty God be upon you in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. One God. Amen. 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 Amen.